Hard work, work. I get up about a quarter to three. Hard work, work. Got to go and earn my pay. Hard work, work. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stephen from Paint Boss. Today we're gonna do a little video on how uh, how Jose and Miguel get these doors looking so perfect, and it's all like everything in the prep. It's all in the preparation and how you do. So we're in this beautiful house right now. You can see that beautiful iron ore going in and all these beams and we're going to kind of show you exactly how we do all of this prep work to make the doors look good. So we got everybody working on the doors, we have them all out on saw horses. And when you get doors from the factory, a lot of people don't do this stuff, but if you want them to look really good, you're going to do like Jose, this is a little astrical piece right here. And he actually caulks that in. It gives strength to that door. Why don't you show him how you do that, Jose? And when you, these were all these little touches that make a big difference at the end of the day. So we like to caulk that seam right there. That'll give the door a little bit more strength. It'll help waterproof it. And so you always want to take the time and do all the prep right. Yeah, so these are those little touches nobody else really does, but if you want to have a really, really beautiful finish and you're doing a door pack like that, it's those little things that are going to really help you. So as we come around here, you can see, you can see Fatima is sanding these doors because when they come from the factory they have a lot of grating in the middle inside panels. So even if these are pre-primed from the factory, you can see how much dust she's bringing up. Any blemishes are on the Bondo. You can see all of this grain. If you don't sand this out, when you go to shoot that door, you're gonna raise all the fiber because most of the paint everybody's using now is all of a latex paint. So you can see, the Mima is, is sanding all of this. You want all this white dust to come out because that's all the fiber that comes off of these doors. Even though these are solid core doors, you're still gonna have all of that. So if you come around and look at all these, these are all blemishes that came from the factory. All doors are like that. And so if you really want to take it to the next level, this is the kind of preparation you want to do. This is an unsanded door. You can listen. It's kind of rough. And if you ever have rough surface, then that means when your finish goes on, it's not going to look as good. Also, as the crew goes through, all of these are raw edges. So we go ahead and bondo all those raw edges and ease the edge on this corner because when you spray your latex on the door, it's going to want to gum up on this edge right here because this is MDF pre-primed like that. When you go to do your coat of latex, it's going to raise all of that particle right there and it's going to be smooth. So you can just skip ahead and make it bondo all those edges so the finished product is even better. Now once they all get sanded, this is the sanded pile, all beautiful and smooth, they all get wiped down. And as we make our way into where we're going to actually shoot them, the boys are all standing them up. You can see Jose and Miguel are moving them to where they're going to shoot them because those ones are done, ready to dry. They're all stacked nice in there. So as Fatima keeps sanding on this, you can see how much dust actually comes up from truly working on these. Now this is all smooth, it's going to remove all of that fiber in the door so when we go to shoot, it all lays down nice and smooth. So once they've gone through there, they've all been sanded, they've all been cleaned and white, we stack them in segments like this. So this is a big room in the house, obviously it's still cold outside, we want to shoot these all, this is our makeshift food. So as you notice, we do not like stacking any more of these than we have to. So we like to do four, five at the maximum. And the reason that is, is because as we're shooting these doors, we're gonna overspray onto the other side. If you stack 10 in a row, by the time you shoot all of these faces, imagine I'm shooting all these faces, by the time I get done with these four doors, I'm gonna have to turn the corner, come back here and shoot all of these sides. Now that's what we've learned, that's our little tip to you guys. If you stack more than five, your overspray by the time you come to the back side, your actually will be dry on the other side enough to mark it with overspray and it'll kind of take away the look of the door. 
So you always want to try to keep them as fours or fives. You can see these pieces right here, a little something like this. This is called an astrical. This is for a bot. This is for a door that comes together like that. This is all caulked. All that's going to go away. So when it's finished, it's all seamless. Valentina's in here cleaning down the doors. This is the last thing you want to do before you get into paint. She's wiping all of those down because dirt is your enemy and dust is your enemy on a door. If you truly want it to be like a mirror finish, you have to make sure you clean everything you're about to spray. So we do that and then we're actually going to vacuum the OSB on the floor. And you can see the difference in the Bondo. Now the Bondo is kind of pinkish in tone, not so red, and that means everything's been sanded. And now we want a real nice clean door. So Valentina keeps wiping these down. They're getting the pumps ready to spray. And we'll get into that finish. We'll give you a little sneak peek. If you follow me, I'll show you. We did a couple iron ore doors. Pretty neat. So this is kind of how you want to set up the booth. And you only can go as big as the room will allow. But you never want to do more than four. You see all that dust coming off those. do all that prep, this is what it equals. So these are iron ore, and you can really see how beautiful these are all drying. Sorry the lighting's bad, but this is where we had the two iron ore doors. These are tucked away from drying so that there's no sheetrock dust or any of the sanding dust in there. And we'll tune back in when we go to spray these doors. So just a little heads up of how we go through the extra lengths to make this the next high quality job. This is the extra little steps you do to get that much of a better finished product. So tune in and we'll show you when Mickey starts shooting these and how that all lays out and comes together. So thanks so much for joining us. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So we're continuing the production line and now we're into paint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk in here and we're gonna check out how Miguel is shooting these doors. See, we're being real careful with the hose. Miguel's got the extension wand on there and a nice fine finish tip, just laying it up beautifully. And as you can see here, what we were talking about before is why we stacked four instead of let's say 10 or, or eight in a row, is you can see as he's shooting, there's always gonna be a little bit of overspray coming. And by the time he gets to the other side and goes to the next door, it, stills off, it still stays wet. So here's his first coat on these beauties. And that's kind of how you want to you wanna attack a big wood pack like this. See, he's just laying it up. You can see how beautiful that is. Just like everything in paint, it's all about the preparation. Getting that bondoed edge, and without even stopping, there's no starting and stopping on the product. It's all one continuous spray. So we have no spit, we have no gun. This, you know, nothing happens with the gun or the spray pattern, and he's just putting on the first coat, nice and even. You see how he's he's not stopping his spray at all. It's all one continuous piece. And you can see there, you see we're doing a pure white uh, on this door pack. And he never stops that gun. He just keeps it going. And again, that's why we stack it the way we stack it. So he's gonna continue running through this. This is the first coat. We actually here at Platinum Futures, we always do two coats to all of our doors. So we'll let these all dry. And we get a lot of questions on our comment section is how do we cover that Bondo? But you can see we're spraying pure white right now. And this is about the brightest white out of Sherwin-Williams they get. And you can see we have no problem covering that Bondo right there. And actually after this coat when Miguel is done, uh, we'll come back through, do what we call a prep check in between coats. And if we need to fix anything or we have any Bondo shrink or anything like that, we'll come back and fix it. All right, everybody. So there's Miguel doing what he does best, rocking and rolling. Valentina. And these are the beautiful first coat of this door pack. So we will continue on. 
and keep moving through the production line. We're sanding, cleaning, and going. So, all right, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sorry it's been so long since we've done a video, but thank you very much for tuning in. And we'll promise we'll start making more videos now. Thanks again. Hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. Hard work, work to go and earn my pay.